For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. The wages of sin is death. If there's one thing that man has in common, whether it be male or female, young or old, whatever race you come from, you that are born of a woman, you are a sinner. You stand before a God that is holy. For the Bible says, God said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And yet you come short of holiness by being a sinner. And the very reason why we die is because of sin. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. There is salvation, there is hope even beyond death. Now when death comes, you cannot think, oh, nothing's going to happen. Death, that's it. It's gone. The Bible speaks about that there is a life after death. It's either heaven by Jesus Christ, where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And the other point of life after death is hell, and that's without Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Your problem that you have is sin. We are all sinners, for all have sinned, for all have come short of the glory of God. You cannot get to heaven, you cannot get to God on your own merits of who you are, because we come short. Even if you were good. Even if you had works, you come up short according to the scriptures. And the remedy of that shortness is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. A holy God and a sinful creation. A sinless perfection of Jesus Christ, 100% man, and 100% God is the remedy that God set forth. And yes, God is love, my friend. But in the event without Jesus Christ, there is no love of God. The verse that we open up every week, for God so loved the world, is a love that's past tense. It is L-O-V-E-D. That love of God was upon the cross of Jesus Christ on Calvary's hill. That love now becomes conditional. In order to further your love of God to you, that love of God is based upon what you do with Jesus Christ. And you have two options and only two options of Jesus Christ. You can totally reject his offering. Or you can believe with your heart. Now without a heart belief or with the heart man believes unto righteousness. You are still dead in trespasses and sin without a heart belief. Now, I'm not talking about the Jesus where you swallow and eat. I'm not talking about my bro Jesus. Now, I'm not talking about the man upstairs. I'm talking about a holy God. I'm talking about a righteous God. And I'm talking about a sinful creation called mankind. Everything that man does fails. Everything that man will do in order to get a religious life fails before God. Religion is man-made, and yet Jesus Christ is God-approved. There is no other means to get to God. There is no other means to get to heaven outside of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God. Now the Apostle Paul tells us 
in the scriptures that there is another Jesus. That Jesus will not get you into heaven. That Jesus will get you into hell. The Apostle Paul tells us that there's another gospel. The gospel of God, the gospel of the Bible, approved of God is Jesus Christ. Suffered and died according to the scriptures. You have to have the scriptural Jesus Christ. Born of a virgin, of the tribe of Judah, who is God. And not only that, he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the biblical Jesus. That is the biblical way. Anything else will fall short. And falling short will get you into the gate of hell forever. And in forever. There is no time. It just goes on. And in lap of luxury is to be with Jesus Christ without pain, without sorrow, without discomfort, a new body. And to be in hell with Satan, the Bible speaks of it as torments. Being tormented. And yet God's love for you, to quote the vendors and the customers, God's love for you is that he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to suffer and die in our place, Isaiah 53. And there's no other sacrifice. There is no other means for you to be right with God. Without Jesus Christ, there is the wrath of God. The wrath of God is hell. Without Jesus Christ, there is no love of God at all. Without Jesus Christ, you will be cast off in the lake of fire that burneth forever. And forever. And ever. There is no hope outside of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says in Titus 2.13, Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. And the Bible says he's coming back. We stand here preaching Jesus Christ, the means of salvation for only Jesus saved. There is no other means. I stand here with a Bible, a King James Bible, to tell you that your baptism is wrong. I tell you your Baptist is wrong. Your church is wrong. Your belief is wrong if it's not Jesus Christ, the blessed hope. And whatever you believe in or whatever you excuse outside Jesus Christ, you are wrong according to the Scripture. And we stand here to preach the gospel as the Bible says that you may have the means of salvation by God's way, by God's truth, by God's life. It's not magazines. It's not Mary. It's not work. At least any man should boast. It is salvation by faith through grace. For by grace are you saved. Salvation to get to God rests 100% upon Jesus and no other. There is no other means for you to get to a heaven that is the abode of God the Father. You throw out Baptists, you throw out Catholicism, throw out atheism, throw that all out, throw out scientism, evolution. None of those stands will get you to God. But only by Jesus Christ, the righteous, the hope, the blessed hope, who suffered and died upon Calvary's cross, that we might have life, and have life more abundant. That is the means, that is the way. That's what you're going to hear every Saturday here. It's the means that the worldly man hates. It's the means of scorning. It's the means of being foolish. 
It's the means that you need to believe on to be saved. We stand here and preach Jesus. We don't preach anything else but Jesus. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Your terminal disease called sin can be healed. It can be made righteous in the eyes of God only by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And with that sin condition and your state of going to hell, what must you do to be saved? The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no other means of salvation. Though Paul said that there's another gospel, and yet in the eyes of God there's only one gospel. Man, Satan, and religion has come up with other ways. God does not take other ways. God takes the way, the truth, and the life that Jesus proclaimed is Him. You don't need your eyes upon me. You need your eyes upon Jesus. Again, the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. He didn't say go collect money. He didn't say go join an organization. He didn't say give. He said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You will not stand right in God unless you stand right in Jesus Christ. You cannot hope to get to heaven without Jesus Christ. I'm telling you right now, if there's no Jesus Christ, get rid of your hope of heaven. I got religion. Get rid of your hope of heaven. Because without Jesus Christ, you ain't going. You will stand before God, condemned as a sinner, and cast off into the lake of fire that burneth forever. You are not safe without Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The love of God is he knows how terrible condition you are. The terrible condition that you are in is you're going to die and you will die in your sins. And you will go to hell. And yet God sent forth his son to suffer and die and be buried. And raised from the grave according to the scriptures that we may have life. And have life more abundant. God has provided the remedy for you to go to heaven. And God has given you the free will of choosing. Whether you want to do it God's way or any other way, and any other way is hell. And that's a Bible fact. God never asked man about his opinion. God does not care what you think when it comes to the afterlife. God has rest assured upon Jesus Christ the Blessed. Jesus Christ the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. There is no other way. And death is coming to you sooner than you think. Death may happen today. We are living in a country that death is imminent no matter where you go. There are people who are carrying guns and will use them to kill you. And the 
Bible says, fear not him that's able to kill the body. But fear him that's able to take your living soul and cast it into hell fire. God is able. And God will take your pitiful soul and cast it into the lake of fire if you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ before you die. And there are hundreds, if not thousands, if not a million ways to die. There are sensible ways to die, and there are stupid ways to die. But death is coming. The wages of sin is death. I come to you as a doctor of God to tell you that you have a terminal condition called sin. And you cannot bring it to a human doctor. You cannot bring it to a preacher. You cannot bring it to a priest. You cannot bring it to a rabbi. You cannot bring it to a psychiatrist. Only God can remove that sin through Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. The precious blood of God without spot. The lamb without spot. The lamb that is approved of God, the sin sacrifice, approved by God is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. I'm telling you, one day you will be a Bible believer. One day you will believe Jesus Christ is Lord. Do that before you take your last heartbeat. Do that before your last breath exhales into eternity. Because once you die, you cannot undo what you did not do in life. You cannot go off into hell as a Bible believer and speck hope. The Bible speaks about a man that goes into hell. He will be taken out of hell, judged by God, and cast into the lake of fire that burneth forever. You will burn without Jesus Christ. You will have no remedy without Jesus Christ. You will have no medication. And you will not have alcohol. Alcohol evaporates with flame. It burns with flame. And though there will be no distilleries in hell, because there's no water in hell, that Jesus told us about the rich man in hell saying, oh, I just want a drop of water. There's no partying in hell. There's no joking in hell. And if you say there's no hell, I got a question why you tell people to go to hell. Why tell someone to go to a place that you don't believe it is and you tell them, go to hell? And we stand here and preach how not to go to hell. And yet we are telling you, you are going to hell without Jesus Christ. Matter of fact, John chapter 3 already says you are condemned. You are condemned already. And it's wonderful that your church doesn't preach the truth. Because it's in the pages of the Bible of John chapter 3. About hell and condemnation. And the wrath of God. As you watch your priest, your rabbi, or your preacher get sent off to hell by God. Because he's not saved himself. 
Paul also tells us in the book of Corinthians that Satan has his ministers too. And you can find Satan's minister behind pulpits and on television and on radio. He's the one that won't preach the truth. He's the one that says, give us money. He's the one that says, God is love. He's the one that says, God loves everybody. He's the one that will say, God hates the sin and loves the sinner. He's the one that will lie to you. He's the one that will deceive you. And he'll probably join you in the flames of fire forever. But we stand here and preach out of the Bible. We stand here that you may have known of the means of going to heaven. And that means is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the blessed hope. Jesus Christ, that was born of a virgin. Jesus Christ of the tribe of Judah. Jesus Christ that died upon Calvary's cross. The same Jesus that they buried. The same Jesus that arose from the grave according to the scriptures in three days and three nights. The same Jesus that is seated at the right hand of the Father. The same Jesus, though you do, approves of what we're doing right now. There is no other means to get to heaven outside of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. If I were to ask you, how are you going to heaven? If it's not Jesus Christ, you're not going to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no Santa Claus. The one that knows what you are doing is God. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. Your eternal soul reflects upon what you do with Jesus. Or what you don't do with Jesus. And then you're going to stand before Jesus. Saved or lost. If you choose to reject Jesus Christ, you will stand before Jesus Christ. and you won't be saved. You can't reject Jesus now and say later on after death, oh, okay, now, Lord, I'm sorry. This is a day of salvation. You may not have the rest of the day. No one knows when death will come knocking, but it will knock. And without Jesus Christ, you will stand condemned. You will be standing opposed to God. You will have no righteousness. You will have no goodness without Jesus Christ. You will have no hope without Jesus Christ. 
The fruit of the Spirit is love. You will have no love. Because in order to get the Holy Spirit, you must believe on Jesus. So forget about love. Forget about love when you reject Jesus Christ from God. God loves His Son. And God loves those that love His Son. We'll go on and on and on till you believe on Jesus or till you end up at the great white throne judgment. There is no joy without Jesus Christ. Joyfulness is when you enter into those pearly gates. And when you stand before the one that created you, and yes, I said God created you. And not only is you stand before your creator, but you stand before the one that suffered and died for you. And the Bible records that Jesus Christ still bears in his body the holes in his hands and his feet and his side. And those holes were because of you and your sins. Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Death may come today. It may not come today. But death is coming. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. If you were to pass in this lifetime, it ain't over. It's only just begun. Once you pass the life in this time, you will face a life that has no time. You'll be in eternal glory by Jesus Christ or you'll be in eternal flames without Jesus Christ. And I'm speaking to you that can hear. You may reject the message right now, but you ain't going to reject the joy... The the judge. You won't reject Jesus Christ sitting on the great white throne judgment. Bow the knee today and repent of your sin. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Rest assured, only Jesus saves. It's a glorious message that God said, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Tell them about Jesus. And I'm not going to speak about Thanksgiving because you don't even know what Thanksgiving is without Jesus Christ. You haven't even thanked God for the bounty that you've gotten so far. Today, here at the farmer's market. Jesus Christ is not who you think he is. He is for sure not that baby in a manger anymore. That's come and gone and done. That baby grew up and suffered and died on Calvary's cross. And that man that grew up from infancy is coming back in anger as a lion of the tribe of Judah.
Jesus is coming for his bride and he's coming back again. And you will not appreciate him when he comes back. He will come back in wrath and fire. And yes, people, if you do not believe on Jesus Christ, he will cast you in the lake of fire. You. He doesn't care who you are, what you are, what you're doing. All God cares about is faith and belief on Jesus Christ from the heart. You won't pass up on cash and money orders and credit cards. That's not accepted in heaven. The precious blood of Jesus Christ, a lamb without spot, the lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That's the only acceptance into heaven. Without Jesus Christ, you will stand condemned. Luke 19.10 says Jesus came to save. He's willing. He's wanting. Because he said, go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. And he says in Isaiah, come, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Come forth. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You will never ever be able to tell God I never knew. We stand here with the gospel that you, if you choose to reject Jesus Christ, you will be condemned by Jesus Christ and the gospel and the word. You are without excuse today forever. You have heard that Jesus saves and only Jesus. Whether you live whether you live one second or one hundred and forty five years, you have heard that Jesus saves and Jesus alone, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. That God takes no other means for salvation. You have heard the way, you have heard the truth, you have heard the life. And without Jesus, you'll stand before God, condemn, you'll say, I never knew, and God said, yeah, you heard. You have heard with ears that will not hear. You know, I got to thank you vendors. Because of you, I have learned what ears but not being able to hear. Because I know you hear. I hear your comments. And yet you will not listen to God. You are taking the biggest gamble of your life and you will lose without Jesus. You're hoping that there is no God. According to the Bible, there is a holy God. You are relying on the fact is that Jesus Christ is not who he said he was. For there is no other way by the words of Jesus Christ.
For Jesus said, I'm the way. There's no other way. The truth. So there's got to be a lie out there. Science, education, religion is a lie. And Jesus said, I'm the life. And John the Baptist said, he that has the Son, capital S, has everlasting life. But he that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. It's either eternal life or wrath. God has given you a choice. The free will love of God. Heaven or hell. Jesus Christ, anything else. That's it. And salvation is so easy, just put your faith and trust by your heart that Jesus Christ is able to wash you of your sins. Before you die. You will carry that unrepentant spirit with you into hell. And you will carry with you into hell a loudmouth preacher preaching the gospel. Lord willing, every week. And there's no other remedy. There's no other treatment but that of Jesus Christ, the blessed hope. Absolutely no other. When it comes to salvation, God is stripped, and yet He's holy. And yet He made the means of salvation simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Only thing God said to do is believe. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's it. God said, Come now, and let us. Reason together. Try God out. Take him at his word that Jesus saved. 